In this tutorial we'll explore the concept of listeners and events in PayPMC. We will learn how they work and how you can use them to respond to certain actions that happen in-game. For example, when a player joins, when a player leaves, when blocks are broken, are placed and much more. So let's create a new IntelliJ project for that. Let's call it episode 04. Plugin, paper plugin, and we choose the latest version, which is 1.20 at the moment. Select the right JDK and click on create. Now, as said earlier, listeners are concepts to listen for certain actions that happen in game. Those actions are called events, and there are actually many events that happen in game. For example, if you look at the Java doc of PayPMC, we can see that there are events for blocks, commands, entities, inventories, player and many others. So let's look at the player related events, for example, and we can see that there is a player bucket fill event, for example, that gets called when a player fills a bucket, player interact at entity event that gets called when a player clicks on an entity, such as a villager, for example. We have the player join event, of course, that gets called when a player joins the server. The opposite of it, player quit event that gets called when a player leaves the server and many others, as you can see. And to be able to respond to those events, we need a listener that listens for those events. So let's create a new class for that. And I'm going to call it my listener, for example. Every listener in Bucket needs to implement listener. And this simply tells the server that this class will be a listener. You can have multiple listeners in, uh, in your plugin and split the events you want to listen for uh, into different cl classes, for example. You can also listen for multiple events with just one listener. And the way it works is that the my listener class contains several methods one for each event you want to listen for, those are public avoids. You can name it, for example, on join if you want to listen for a player joining. And the important stuff is that you annotate each method that uh, should handle an event with at event handler. And now to specify which event we're listening for with this method, we need to pass it as an argument. So on join, you want to listen for the player join event. So we have to pass the player join event, player join event, and give it a name. I like to call it event. And now when this method gets called, we know that a player join event has been called, which means that a player joined the server. We can use the event with this event uh, variable and type dot, for example, to see all available fields. And as we can see, there is a get player method to get the player related to this event. As this is the player join event, this player will be the player who just joined the server. We have methods to get the join message, to set the join message, those are the um, component-based methods from PaperMC. If you want to use um, the old methods with strings, which can be a bit easier at the beginning, you can use uh, this method here to get the join message and this method, set join message to set the join message. So let's get the player first by saving it into a variable. Call that variable player and that's equal to event.getPlayer. I import player with alt enter and now we have access to the player who joined and just as with every other um, field in IntelliJ you can simply type the name press dot and see all the available methods um, for this example let's send a message to the player for example so send message welcome to the server and let's append the name of the player which we can get by player dot get name this gets the player from the event. This sends a message to the player. And now we um, want to remove the join message, for example. You do that by calling the event variable and set the join message to null. If you simply want to change the join message, you can, of course, set it to anything you want. This, for example. But for now, I just want to remove the join message. So let's test it in game. Export the plugin, go to Maven, lifecycle, and package. And as usual, you find the exported jar in the targets folder and simply drag and drop it into the plugins folder. Then start the server. And now, because we modified the player join event, the code we um, wrote in the event handler should instantly execute once we join the server. So let's test it. And as you can see, this didn't work. This is because we first need to tell the server to register our listeners. So all the event traffic gets forwarded to our listener class. This is done in the on enable method, your main class. And you do that by get server dot get plugin manager dot register events. And as you can see, this takes two parameters, 
The first one is the listener, which is this class we just created. So pass a new instance with new my listener. And the second parameter will be the plugin. Since we are in the um, main plugin class, we can simply type this. And now when we re-export the plugin and drag and drop the new plugin into the plugins folder, and now we can see that, that it worked. We get our custom message here and the um, default join message has been removed. So let's do a second event, for example. Let's do the block break event. So create a new method for that. Public void on block break, for example. Block break. Don't forget to annotate it with event handler and pass the event you want to listen for as an argument. So the event is called block break event. Call it event. And this event is special. When you control left click on it, you can see that it implements an interface called cancelable. The player join event does not implement this interface. Cancelable simply means that we can prevent the um, action that caused the event from happening. Since we have the block break event, we can uh, prevent a block from being broken. We do that in our um, listener inside the event handler. We do that by event.set cancelled. False if you don't want to cancel it, and true if you want to cancel it. And remember, this is only possible because block break event implements cancelable. Player join event does not implement cancelable. So we can't do event set cancelled here. As you can see, this method is not available. And what this event handler does know is it listens for a block being broken, and then it simply tells the server to cancel the event. We can also do something else, of course. For example, let's get the player again, who broke the block, and send a message. You can't break blocks here, for example. Of course, you can use color codes, either with the paragraph sign or with the chat color enum. So let's choose red, for example. But I like to use the paragraph symbol just because it's shorter. Now export the plugin and now you can see the player join listener still works and now if you try to break a block the event gets cancelled and we receive the message that we sent. And in the next episode we will learn how to create custom commands and how you can protect them with permissions.